Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about my DeWalt cordless polisher. Um, I don't know what made me think of this, but I was like, man, I've had this polisher for a long time. When did I buy this thing? So funny enough, this month right now, October makes four years since I purchased this thing. And uh, I'm like, man, this thing won't die. I can't kill it, it just won't die. Um, so I haven't owned many cordless polishers. The only other one that I own is the Flex PX80E, the little mini polisher, which is a dual action. And I believe you can also use it as a, uh, technically a rotary polisher as well. Love that thing, that thing's totally awesome. Um, but for a lot of my mobile detailing, I just love using this thing. It's the only cordless polisher that I've owned. And the reason why, to be honest, is because I guess I'm a little cheap. If I buy something, I just wanna buy it once. I don't wanna buy a bunch of different things and have a bunch of polishers laying around. So I bought this four years ago. I got tired of having to plug things in all the time. Uh, I always used a DeWalt rotary polisher, which is awesome. I still have that. I think I've had that one now for roughly seven years, eight years. And this one now for four years. I have not done any maintenance to the thing at all. Um, not sure what I would have to do, honestly, in regards to maintenance. I've never had to do maintenance on a polisher before, but figured I'd make a quick video on how awesome and durable this polisher is. So let's talk about the durability here for a second. I have done quite a few RVs and buses with this thing. It's really good for waxing large objects because uh, it's cordless. So it's a little heavy. I will, I will be honest with you, it is a little hefty but that's not a bad thing. So I would be on like an eight foot, 10 foot ladder applying wax to an RV. And then I'd try to set it down on top of the ladder and it would just fall. And uh, as you can see, it's taken quite a beating. I've cracked a lot of these batteries here. I've, I've even purchased some cheap like Chinese ones from Amazon. They didn't really last that long, but this I have had for four years, this battery. This is a five, five AH. I forget, wait, what is that? What does AH stand for again? Amps, amps per hour. But you definitely do wanna have the bigger batteries for this because if you just use the smaller ones, you're gonna run through them pretty quickly. I wouldn't recommend this for doing like a full deep correction on a car because it's just not gonna last. You're gonna be running through batteries pretty quickly. But if you're just doing like a quick enhancement, for example, I have this black Cadillac here beside me and this customer has me do a full detail on this twice a year. And it technically doesn't include correction with the service, but because she takes such good care of it and sometimes I might see a couple little swirls or scratches in it, I'll just hit it quick, kind of like a little one step or correction in some areas. And this way it just gives the paint a little extra pop before I wax it up. Weight distribution of it is pretty good. It does need some getting used to, especially if you're always using a corded polisher. And also if you're using one of these larger batteries, I do think it helps distribute the weight a little better with the larger battery, but it definitely does take some getting used to of balancing it. Other than that, it's really good. It's a really powerful machine. In some instances, I do think, especially with a full battery, one of the larger batteries, I think it has like more force, more cutting power, if you will, compared to my Rupes LHR 15 ES which um, is kind of like my primary polisher for most corrections. But when this thing's fully charged up with a full battery, I mean, this thing hammers down. It really, really does. It does a killer job at removing defects super, super fast. Obviously not as fast and not as effective as a rotary polisher, but this thing, like, it really hammers down. And this is like an awesome tool for mobile detailing. You don't have to worry about having cords everywhere and, um, Packs a powerful punch very quickly, especially if you just want to bang out a couple scratches or scuff marks on a full detail package for a customer. So in regards to operating speed, this goes by oscillations per minute because it is a dual action polisher. So it spins, but then it also is gear driven and oscillates, um, which I do prefer for corrections. Sometimes, yeah, rotary has its place too, but man, you just can't go wrong with a good um, dual action polisher. So like I was saying before, oscillations per minute, um, you don't get a whole lot of runtime with the 5,500. It's just, it kills the batteries wicked fast. So 
you want to really operate around maybe 4,500, 4,000. It's really, really stupid easy to use. And uh, I do think the placement of this is just perfect for your thumb. This thing kind of honestly sounds a little rough. It has gotten louder over the years and also the trigger has gotten a little less sensitive but again i have done no maintenance to it it has taken quite the beating and i can't tell you how many times i've dropped it and again primarily i've been a mobile detailer i've been caught out in all kinds of situations where this has gotten caught out in the rain sprayed with a hose fallen out of my truck um it has just taken an incredible beating so um if you are a DIY guy, you're not even a professional detailer by trade, um, I can't imagine why you couldn't just keep this polisher forever. Um, this has countless hours, countless hours buffing and polishing paint, waxing boats, waxing RVs and buses. So, I mean, if you're looking for a good solid polisher that is reputable, it's backed by a good name, DeWalt. Who doesn't love DeWalt? Unless you're like a Milwaukee guy, there's nothing wrong with that. But I have other DeWalt tools, and that means I can just interchange all the batteries, like for my drills and whatnot. I think the DeWalt polisher could be a really good bet for you if you're a DIY detailer or even a professional like myself. It hasn't done me wrong. We'll see, who knows, maybe this video will be the jinx of this polisher and it'll probably die on me and then I'll have to be forced to buy something else. So uh, if you see a video in regards to another polisher, that will probably be the reason why. I forget the exact amount that I purchased this for. I think it was somewhere around 200, 250, and I don't think the price has changed much since then. So I'm gonna drop a link down below for this polisher. Again, I would just recommend getting the big batteries for more operating time. Definitely get a couple of them. And if you're already a DeWalt person and you have other DeWalt tools around the house, that probably really won't be a problem for you. Hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, Smash it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video.